Well, we checked into an Alberg last night, pre-booked, so we'd be sure to have a room, or a bed. It was uh, 61 euros for the three of us. It was nice. And it had three really beds. Quiet. Three beds and an eight bed dorm, and we were on our own. We had it all to ourselves with two bathrooms and two showers. But, it's like being in a hotel. We were told that dinner wouldn't be until 8 o'clock. So Patsy couldn't wait to eat that long. Ken and I waited, went down at 8 for dinner. And it was still taking orders at 8.30, so we said, I'll do with this. Yeah, you wouldn't get served till 9 o'clock. Oh, look yeah. at the cows. See, yeah, cows, cows. the cows. Anyway, yeah. so uh, we basically didn't have dinner last night. And then since we were on our own, we just made our own breakfast. And uh, so that's the way it is. We found out in Spain, they don't normally start eating dinner till about 8.30 and uh, it's only a small meal, the big meals at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Well that doesn't work too well when you're hiking, you only want to eat a snack at dinner and eat your big dinner when you're finished. So I don't know how we're going to deal with this. Oh, feeling cute! Huh? Hi, Cali! Oh. Oh. Look at little babies. Look He's a little baby, baby cow. You know you can't get him. <laughs> so on this side is a fence, so you're going to hurt yourself, mate. <laughs> Working alongside the big river. And it's a foggy, cool morning. And there go my two fellow pilgrims. It's Friday morning today. Oh well, early morning fog, 9.30. And we're only well, less than a thousand feet, I think. So it's still all foggy, which is nice. It got too hot yesterday afternoon. Hey. With a palm tree. Why are the pilgrims crossing the road? Crossing the river on the Pente Pente floor or something. Big old bridge over a big old river. Well, the sun's starting to break through the clouds. Walking in between the road and the train tracks. And then there's the river. Big cliffs. And there's Shorty. Uh, this is old. Old horse and cot. Another one. Hmm. It's a time warp. These nice horses. These are branded. Oh, hello. Hello. Little baby. And a baby. Oh, it's an electrified fence. <laughs> Don't get too close. Whoa! We're in the town of Grado or Grau. Pretty busy compared to where we were last night. <laughs> this is like life back in the big city again. Yeah, maybe it was okay to stay last night. It was pretty quiet there. Very quiet in our eight bed dorm. Since there are only the three of us. It's only Ken making noise. <laughs> Dropping stuff. Yeah, looks very European here. Wonder why that is. What's Zappa? Zappa looks as though they have coffee. Grado behind Frank's now. Up. Went to the supermarket, had coffees, yeah. cafe con leches. Thanks to Ken, thank you Ken. Good break. All rejuvenated. <laughs> Ken struggling up the steep hills. We made it outside of Grado. Nice countryside. And wow, they're still farming the fields in the traditional way. 
with oxen and plow. I've never seen that before. Well, it's a really nice countryside. All these Asturian granaries. Nice houses. Quiet country lanes. Taking you back to a different time. Very beautiful out here. Yeah. Nice Very different from Camino Portuguese. Very different. No Pellegrini out here. Oh, there's one Pellegrini. Pellegrino. We're really out in the countryside now. Oxen and plows. Lots of cocks crowing. Nice day. Yeah, bit hot. In the shade pilgrims. But here's a running pilgrim. Bon <laughs> come here. Oh no, I don't think he's a pilgrim. <laughs> no, he'd be running with a backpack. Mm. Lots of birdies. Doggies. Hey doggies! <laughs> They're friendly doggies. Yeah. Good boy, huh? Good boy. <laughs> Nothing to eat. Water for thirsty pilgrims. Probably non controlé and probably potable. Doggies drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> yum yum yum. <laughs> Jump in! Time to jump in! Those are hot doggies! <laughs> yeah! Mm. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> they know where it's good. Must be good water! <laughs> Those <are thirsty> doggies! <laughs> huh. What's this one doing? Splishing and splashing about. Oh, now we have to cross this bridge over the, well, not horrendously busy highway. I wouldn't like to have to run across it. Nice motorcycling for Michael Hunker. Beautiful day, a bit warm. A serene village scene, disturbed only by the sound of the weed whacker. The wacky whacker. Oh, it's pretty around here. Yeah, it's a very nice town. There's some more water. 2002. Does it work? Mm. I think I smell so wet. Oh yeah, it's dripping. Now we're on a riverside pass. Keeps changing, but it's still very rural. Oh, here's Sebastian. He's telling us the tricks how to get a million subscribers on uh, <laughs> on Instagram. Where is he? And then you need to add me. This is me. Okay, Sebastian, first name, pas tranquille. President and founder of Light of the World, Contact Info, starting to download, you open the file and you put it in which contact? This one, no? Ah, oh, any contact, so that's uh, contact. This is Google and this is, I don't know. And here you have all your more. So you have all LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, <laughs> TikTok. I have TikTok. Nobody's got time Facebook. for all this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I will just change the, the phone number because it's not a mobile, I will give you mine, okay? Oh, a nice covered church porch. wonder if we can get a stamp here. Let's see. Oh, cool. It's almost certainly closed. Over the road, now we go under the road. 
and climbing. Not always climbing. She spats the water of life from her navel. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> cold? Oh yeah, cold. Oh, a nice river. And even better, a nice bridge to cross it over. We're only about 10 minutes away now from our lodging for the night. So we're pretty early. But that's all right. Better early it's a than new late. morning. Three peregrinos. One of them taking a photo of me taking a video. <laughs> Maybe we can get a stamp in there. No, that'll be closed. But anyway, it's about 8.15 on... What are we now? Saturday. Yeah, Saturday morning. It's easy to lose track. Why do they whack all these trees off like this? Everywhere we've seen. they come back with a vengeance. Time to um, uh -oh. when you need the 8 30. We're only about 15 minutes out to Cornelana, which wasn't a very large town, but transported into the countryside again, eh, Bob? Yeah, it was small and little. Kind of, uh, yeah, they were partying in the Party night. night <laughs> yeah. We're on the right track. It's a beautiful day again. Oh my god. And the granaries, that's what they are. So every house has one. It's either a granny flat or a granary. Uh, we just passed a quarry. Really noisy, but now we're back in the peace and quiet of the Asturian countryside. It's the Casa de Luna. <laughs> Sign your own rock. Uh, I think a nice pass. little hamlet there up on the hillside. Church, cemetery. Much more hilly now. Oh, There's Ken. Gloria. Fuente de Santiago on the Camino de Santiago. Oh. And the Glacier de Santiago de Viazon. Oh, we're following this forest path. Nice, we haven't seen any of the pilgrims so far today. We've already gone about four and a half miles. So. Oh, uh, well, I was here pilgrim. Uh, so maybe it's good not to do the stages as designated. Yeah. And every now and again, we pass signs for a place to stay the night. We just passed one, said bed and breakfast, 10 euros per person. Pretty good. Oh, a nice little bridge over a pleasant stream. Yeah, cool little stream. Pretty old, yeah, it's got a curtain of fern. Vegetarian, 15 euros, bed, 65 for a private room. <laughs> What's it look like? Oh, pretty nice. Oh, quiet place here. Perfect for a good night's sleep for tired Pellegrinos. Highway crossing. Fortunately, not much traffic. Hardly any, in fact. So, today's Saturday. Supermarkets close at 2 p.m. and we're on track 
I think to reach our destination at about 1.15. So don't think we really have time to stop for a morning coffee. Bummer. This looks like a hobbit road. Ken's feeling a bit sick. So Patsy and I are going to go on ahead, get to our final destination, hopefully before 2 p.m. when the supermarket closes, and buy some provisions, including something to settle Ken's stomach. The okay. Salas. Has a nice church, which is closed as always. Pretty quiet here. Looks like some pilgrims. Oh yeah. There we go. Sweet town. Oh, oh. That does sound like a park. With an automatic lawnmower too. Nice scene. But we're here Same. thunder. But in the distance we're here thunder. Oh yeah. When we heard the first bout of thunder, Patsy said, thunder? And I said, nah, that's somebody moving something like a wheelbarrow. But she was right. It's not raining on us yet, but it's coming. We're working again. I have to go under this big old bridge. It'll be three before we do another uphill. Right, we'll do. Big uphill. <laughs> that last one, 1,500 feet. <laughs> We have another 1500 Oh god. Oh. oh, the rural countryside. Barking dogs. Sands of the chainsaw. There is a Santa Maria de Bodenia. We got a stamp in there. It's unusual for these Spanish churches to be open. We've arrived in what you could call downtown La Espina. It's pretty quiet. Uh, lodging for the night is right next to a supermarket. So try to check in and see what the cooking facilities are like. Get some groceries. Then uh, maybe go to a restaurant for lunch. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. When we arrived here, we were the first people. And we thought we might have it to ourselves, but no, apparently there's going to be nine out of the ten beds filled already. And there are. So, no, uh, not, yeah, that one, but not this one. So, yeah, we'll get to meet some fellow Pellegrinos. Well, we haven't seen anybody today. Just the Polish guys with their priest. <laughs>